What's up you guys? Danny with the dead leg here. Now if you follow me on Instagram at the dead leg or if you know about the website thedeadleg.com you know that I have done a write up on my Maxpedition Falcon 2 backpack. Now at the end of that I also promised that I wanted to do a video of said backpack and so I was out today figured it was a perfect time to do it so uh, check this out so yeah it's not a it's not a super in-depth review it's just an EDC loadout uh, I just basically dump on my backpack for you go ahead and judge it go ahead and make suggestions uh, this is the first video for the dead leg channel so stick around tell me what you think about the video if you like it go ahead and hit the like button if you want to see more of this kind of stuff I'll be trying to do it as much as possible go ahead and subscribe and see you next time So this is my Maxpedition Falcon 2 backpack in the khaki foliage color. I won't be going too in depth on the specs and materials and anything like that. It's not really a review, it's more just an EDC loadout. I'll be showing you what I have inside on my day to day basis. Just to give you sort of an idea of what I carry and what this backpack can carry for this type of scenario. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'll be starting with this first front pouch, the small one, which I tend to use just kind of as a quick grab and go pouch where I'll carry just whatever I'm using in the current situation. In this case, a bunch of batteries, more batteries, Carmex, portable charger, a little screen, screen rag, Zippo, and a little wrench that you might be familiar with for mounting GoPro on mounts. So it changes all the time. It's not meant for anything except shit I want to grab without having to dig to the deepest, darkest depths of this backpack. So, moving on. Lower front pouch. This one has about uh, just under 20 feet now of Titan Survival Warrior code, cord, sorry. And this I just carry to practice. I like practicing knots, I like practicing, you know, little paracord projects like what I did with this big lighter. I also carry a bandana. This I'll get to in a sec. Hand sanitizer, Sharpie, lead pencil, mini energizer pocket light and six foot measuring tape now this is a maxpedition mini pocket organizer this is basically the not so serious half of my first aid that i carry on a day-to-day -day basis this has bandages bug spray in here i carry medications pain pills diarrhea pills antacids allergy pills you name it um, and in here I carry ointments such as afterbite, afterburn, hydrocortisone, uh, a couple gauzes and I also have oral hydration salts so this is more of just kind of everyday common injury boo-boo kit you know nothing nothing too serious Now we're going to go ahead and go into the, what's called, secondary compartment. And here I'll carry more miscellaneous stuff. Cordage ties for charger cable that I had in my pocket. Uh, another charger cable. 
earphones that I'm leaving there. Uh, I feel like it's always good to carry these wall chargers and a cigarette lighter adapter. Also have a small right in the ring journal. And like I said, I like to practice my knots, so I carry that little card. Also have a small drawing pad, moleskin, moleskin journal, and meet a planner, basically calendar for the year, for the past year. Just further stay organized in and outside of my backpack. So this being the bigger compartment, I tend to keep it a little more empty. You can see it's a lot, tons of room in there. And that's because if I ever go to the store and I buy anything or just I have some extra yeah. shit to carry, it goes in here most of the time. I avoid using the main compartment on the everyday basis just because it's a little more of a pain to get to and it's frankly a little unnecessary. And I'll even throw in that it kind of, if you're not really super organized in the main compartment, it tends to bulge up in the back. And I mean, if you're carrying this shit every day, you don't want to be uncomfortable with it. So, for the main compartment, I'm going to go ahead and open it vertically. Just so you can see what I mean about keeping it organized to avoid having bulging on your back, which... You know, let's be honest, it, it's, it's annoying. So, this is how I keep it set up. My Expedition FR1, this is basically my IFAC kit. This is where all the fun stuff is at. Clean canteen, and then just slim, slim stuff on this pouch. And nothing on this pouch because this is what lies on my back, my upper back. My Expedition FR1 pouch and khaki. And here it's the bigger, more important half of my first aid. Where I'll carry real quick. Quick clock. A mylar blanket. SWAT T tourniquet, which I do want to swap out for the ratchet style. And then just keep this in a bug out bag or hiking whatever I have some scissors duct tape excuse the noise some tweezers rubber gloves gauze bandage triangular bandage some pads sponges just you know trauma trauma kit um, this is one of the more important things and one of the main reasons why I set up this backpack in the first place. I always felt it was an important thing to have on me. And I did put a lot of thought into it. It's, it's not the fanciest, I know. But there's nothing in here that I don't know how to use and that I wouldn't know exactly where it is in case of an emergency situation. So... Nobody else would because I don't have a patch on it. But we'll get to that later. This is the Maxpedition Beefy Pocket Organizer. Foliage color. This is where the fun stuff is. Here we have a pair of Max, uh, sorry, mechanics gloves. You have a emergency red light. You have a Sharpie, Leatherman Signal, Snow Peak Titanium Spork, some duct tape wrapped around some plastic, some zip ties. Here we have the replaceable red lens for my Black Scout Survival Wildtac flashlight, which replaces the strike bezel whenever you want to preserve your night vision and I did do 
a small write up on this flashlight and my Black Scout Survival tack pen up on the deadleg.com if you haven't already checked it out. On this side, we have Stanley Flask, some good old Jameson. We have another just over 20 feet of Titan Survival Warrior Cord, Titan Survival uh, Fire Steel with Survivor Cord lanyard attached to the end of it. Good old deck of cards, and under it we have some spare AAA and AA batteries. And finally, Petzl Tactical Model plus RGB, red, green, and blue light. And that's about it for this. This is more of the stuff I don't reach for every five minutes, but it's the kind of shit that you would be extremely glad that you carry on your back in case of any survival, emergency, extreme boredom, or you're trying to eat lunch and you don't have an eating utensil. That's where that comes in. This isn't this isn't a bug out bag. This is just preparedness. This is the stuff that I feel a lot more comfortable carrying all the time than risking being in a situation where I wish I had it. So physical map in case I lose my phone or something happens it is just a good way to know how to get around my area and wet ones come on self explanatory I also carry some extra tack ties in here and I'll also sometimes carry water either inside for situations like this where I'm just kind of walking around the town but most of the time if I'm on a hike which I also use this backpack for I'll attach my Maxpedition mini roly polies on the side. Which is another thing I love about this backpack. It's it's super versatile. You can fine tune it for every single situation that you know you're gonna be in. It's built like a tank, it's water resistant. It can be super loaded up. And, I mean, a lot of people won't admit it, but it matters. This bag looks fucking cool. There will be more reviews like this in the future. I own a second one of these that I use as my bug out bag. And I also own a Gerfalcon, which I'll use for camping, which I'm hoping to do soon. So, yeah, that's, that's my Maxpedition Falcon 2 changes all the time if there's anything that I'm you think I'm missing mention it in the comments if you like this content subscribe hit the like button I'll be trying to do as many videos as frequently as I can this page will be mostly this kind of stuff and outdoor stuff so if you're into that kind of thing then you might be into the deleg also check out the website the deleg.com and follow us on Instagram Thanks for watching, you guys. Cheers. Ground score.